guys and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here welcome i'm mallory and in today's video we will be reviewing the new color pop one and done collection we only picked up a few things from the collection but i'm pretty excited about this before we get started of course let's talk about the packaging so how cute is this with a little horseshoe um i live in texas so i feel like this is very much like texas appropriate very cowgirl like very very cute we picked up the palette of course the one and done palette we also picked up a powder blush and a fresh kiss this is a lip lacquer so all of the packaging is so so cute so so cute very like like princess cowgirl we're gonna go ahead and dive right into a look with this palette i'm pretty excited about it to be honest look at how gorgeous this is i do love pinks off the top i love how we have a ton of neutrals and then the bright pink is the star of the show it does match the palette very well very very cute okay so before we get started if you are not already make sure that if you are new to the fam please just subscribe girl we want you here you're gonna love it here please just join the fam okay so for this eyeshadow look i do feel like we are gonna create two eyeshadow looks for this simply because we have to make pink the star of the show but i don't want to do a complete pink look on both eyes so we are going to start with the shade Bingo right here. We're going to start with this in the crease. I do feel like this is a palette I would pick up very, very often. I mean, as long as the, the colors perform, but as you guys know, I'm a huge ColourPop fan. So as long as the colors perform, I do feel like this is one that I would use over and over again because I love shades like this. This one, Bingo, it's just like, I just love these for like everyday looks. I do believe we'll be seeing this over and over again in our daily life. We definitely will. Okay, so we're gonna use our um, our bankroll. This was the the blush. This is a little bit more brown than I was thinking. It looks more like a bronzer, not a. Is it a bronzer? No, it's a pressed powder blush. It looks more brown than what I was expecting, but it does have a mirror in there, so we're gonna use this as our mirror. This is a very very deep brown. I was not expecting that to come off so deep like immediately i'm not mad at it though so i'm going to take that same shade this is still um bingo and i'm going to put it in on the other side on my crease so far so good of course it's just a brown we do love this shade so far i do absolutely love it so i know that we would do two looks but i think we're just going to do one because it doesn't really make sense to do two really with this palette. It just doesn't really make sense. So I'm just going to go ahead and do one. So I'm going to go into the shade right here next. This is the High Roller. The pink, the star of the palette. I do love pink, so I'm hoping that this shade performs. So far, I'm not seeing any fallout. These shades are blending together very, very nicely. I'm loving what's happening here. The brush that I'm using right now, this one is Goal Getter by Sugar Rush. Um, one of those pencil looking ones. Okay, so I just like, I did like this to the blush and it like fell out. Like, hun. Oh, it's like magnetized, so it's like, How did that even happen? Like, okay, color pop. Okay. Okay, so next out of the palette, I'm gonna take these two shades and kind of mix them together. This is the West and Gold Digger. Gold Digger. And I'm just gonna blend right here on the outer corners. Okay, so I don't really like the way that it looks. Now I'm just gonna take Gold Digger by itself and try to pack that in the outer corner. I'm gonna do the same thing on the inner corner right here. This is a BH Cosmetics brush that I'm using from the Poison Shot collection. So what I'm seeing here is, is that we're having like a ton of fallout and it's looking kind of patchy. The shades are not blending together seamlessly like I would prefer. Hmm. Okay, so I'm still seeing like the same issue happen over here. I mean, it's not terribly patchy, but it just it doesn't look as good as I 
hoped for. Okay, so because we have used mostly pink on these eyes, they're very pink. I don't wanna use this one. I mean, I do, but I don't, so I'm not gonna use it today. We are gonna use this, um, this shade right here, Coattails. I think that this would be a beautiful like halo shade in the middle. So we're just gonna try to apply it with our finger. I'm not even gonna like try to cut a, cut a crease out or anything, use any concealer. I'm just gonna try to use my finger and lay it right on top and see what we get. Okay, so it doesn't look bad. It's just not very bright. I'm gonna try a brush and see if we can get it brighter. So yeah, it definitely looks better whenever you use a brush. So don't do what I did. Use a brush, don't use your finger. So that shade looks very, very good. So next, we are going to take the shade right here. This one is Cowgirl. We're gonna go in and put this in our inner corner. This shade is absolutely gorgeous. Let me just say that first and foremost, absolutely gorgeous. Definitely one that I would use time and time again. It's beautiful. Let's use it as a highlight too. <laughs> Yes, we look like a glazed donut. <laughs> so before we move on to completing out the eye look, let's go ahead and use our, um, our, let's use our blush, blush and see what we can come up with. Honestly, let's just swatch it on our hand because I really feel like this, this is not gonna do anything. Yeah, it almost just, it almost looks like a foundation on my skin. I lied, we're not even gonna use this. We're not gonna use this. As a blush for us, I was thinking that it was more like a burnt orange, but it looks just like literally like my skin. So we're not even gonna use it. We're not even gonna use it. No. Well, we're gonna skip that. So let me go ahead and get this lip gloss off so we can um, use the lip lacquer. So for the lip lacquer, this is what it looks like out of the packaging. Again, this one is the shade Kick It Up. This one looks really cute online. I kind of feel like I keep buying the same shade, hoping that it's something else and it never is, but this one looks okay. So this one is a cute color. This is pretty cute. I wonder if it's gonna dry down matte or if it's gonna stay shiny like this. So we're gonna go ahead and finish off this eye look with liner and lashes, and I guess we'll see if it dries down matte or not in a few. So this is the final look with liner and lashes and lips. Of course, we did not use that blush. I told you guys it was just not going to work. I just feel like it's basically my same skin tone. So, I mean, bad choosing on my part, but I did pick this up online. It was not in Ulta or in stores. Um, so, you know, that's the risk you run by shopping online. I picked the wrong shade. I should have known better. So overall with the collection, I did absolutely love the palette. The palette is bomb i do feel like this is something that i would use over and over again and because i love this palette so much i might actually give you guys another tutorial later on in the week but seriously you guys this one is a winner i would definitely pick this up if you were thinking about it grab this for sure the lip color is very cute i do feel like i have this color by color pop in you know with a different collection so the, really the only thing you absolutely need out of this collection is the palette so those are my final thoughts. Remember, if you have not already, make sure that you like this video, subscribe, join the fam. We'd love to have you here. And make sure that your bell notifications are on so that you do not miss a video and you guys will see my face in the next one.